Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you all an identification video on chicory. This lovely, lovely indigo colored flower that we're looking at is chicory flower. This is an extremely common and popular plant, very well known for its use as a coffee substitute. This is a very prevalent plant that you're going to find growing along roadside. So let's take a quick look at some of the identification features of this plant. First and foremost, what you're going to notice is these very, very striking light blue and indigo colored flowers with multiple petals. Anywhere from 10 to 15 petals on each flower is one of the biggest things you're going to notice. Another thing that we're going to notice is all these little ridges, little indentions that we can see along the top of each one of the petals of these flowers. So let's take a close look at these. Right here we can really see all these little indentions and notice how they are on the top of every single flower petal here. Every flower petal has these. Now some people will confuse these flowers with uh, blue lettuce, but the thing is, not only does this plant grow much shorter than blue lettuce, its flowers are actually much, much larger than blue lettuce. Blue lettuce flowers are about the size of my thumbnail, versus you can see this is definitely much bigger than my thumbnail. That's one of the easy ways to tell these apart by the flowers. So let's take a quick look at some of the leaves of this plant. If we go down from the top of the chicory plant, we're going to notice these very, very small lance-shaped leaves. However, if we go further down the plant, we're going to notice the leaves actually get a little bit bigger. We can see that leaf right there, and we can see that it's much bigger, but it still retains the same shape. Another thing we're going to notice is that the leaves will actually alternate, just like we can see, these leaves will alternate going down the stem. We're going to notice that the leaves will get bigger. This one is starting to die off a little bit. Uh, this plant really loves to grow along roadsides, so it is subject to pollution sometimes. Um, I don't know what's causing this one, but we can see the margins of the leaves here actually have these teeth and serrations running along the side of the leaves. These leaves are very stiff to the feel, the top is going to be a green, and the bottom is going to be a similar color or shade of green as well. But we'll notice just how much bigger this leaf is in comparison to the first couple that we just looked at. Now right here towards the base of the plant, this is probably about three or four inches up from the soil level, and we can notice this huge cluster of leaves where this is all branched off here, and we can even see some uh, old flower pods coming out of this here. But we're going to notice that the leaves not only get bigger, but they get rounder towards the tip. They're not near as lance shaped, and they will start to develop teeth along the margins of them the further we go down the plant. Now, like I said, the basal rosette is not here this time of year. That is an early spring uh, type of the leaf that you're going to find on chicory. Now, the leaves of this plant can be eaten, and they're actually extremely delicious, and the root of this plant can also be eaten. If we look closely at some of the leaves that are going to be down at the ground level, I actually got lucky and just found one here. We're going to notice that they look almost kind of like dandelion leaves a little bit, but they're much smaller and much more narrow than dandelion leaves, but we can notice these lobes and teeth running along the margins here. If we flip it over, we're going to notice that the green is pretty similar on both sides, the top and the bottom side of the leaf. And this is basically going to be the shape of the leaves on the basal rosette of the plant that you're going to find in the early spring. And these things are amazing cooked up green, just like you would cook up like spinach or, or kale or chard or anything like that. They're absolutely delicious. Whenever you look at the stem of chicory, you're not going to notice anything terribly distinct about it. It is basically just round in appearance and feel and texture. It's actually rather tough and kind of woody. So it does have a really tough stem, but we can see these old flower clusters, these old flower buds alternating just like the leaves do, going up and down the main stem of the plant. Now a lot of the places you're going to be finding your chicory is actually on the side of roads, and you can notice it because throughout its blooming season, which is usually anywhere from the middle of summer all the way until the middle of fall, actually, and I've even seen this plant bloom in uh, the middle of winter during certain weather conditions where it just gets warm enough for this plant to bloom. This is an extremely hardy plant, but it loves to grow along edges of highways and roadsides. So you do have to be careful whenever you're foraging it to make sure that you're not getting any excess pollution or even pla or, uh, in places where they spray uh, herbicides. You wanna make sure that you're not consuming any of that when you do forage this plant. 
Another thing to look out for because it grows on roadsides is don't get hit by traffic, whatever you do. Right now I'm on a backcountry road. I've been here for about 20 minutes and I've only seen one car. So this is a pretty safe spot for me to be filming this. But this will give you guys an idea of how close to the road I am. That right there is the roadside. And this is where you're going to be finding your chicory. If we come and look down here, we're going to notice we can see more of these chicory flowers growing all along the road. We can see some over there. And if we look back over here, hold on a minute, let me uh, adjust my ISO some. There we go, if we look down over there, we can see some more of this chicory. So this is very indicative of the habitat of chicory. So there you go, just a very quick little identification video on chicory. I'm really glad I was able to finally do this video. It's been a few years. Main reason is just trying to find it in a safe spot where I can actually film it. But I hope this video has helped you guys to identify chicory. It's an extremely easy plant, and it's also an extremely delicious and very popular plant to forage. I thank all of you guys for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.